So it's been thousands of years since woolly mammoths roamed the earth, but the chance of seeing one walking around again may not be too mm. far away. Can I tell you, can I tell you, I, 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 I posted this question on my Facebook page, my Fox 13 Facebook page. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh boy. You got to check that out. It Why? is taking off. Like what? in what way? Well, people for and against okay. the, the whole situation. Right. But I am not here to debate that. What I am here to talk about is how this is all going to happen. Well, thousands of years ago, and you've seen pictures and I'm sure videos and movies of what these woolly mammoths look like. They, there they are. It, it, massive, massive. And then they became extinct. A group of Harvard geneticists got a $15 million grant, okay? And their goal is to use genetic engineering to create a living hybrid mammoth elephant. Now, what they're saying is these beasts could help restore the Arctic tundra and preserve the endangered Asian elephant, which is the woolly mammoth's closest relative. Let me explain to you how they're going to do this. They're going to do it up in Siberia in a place called Pleistocene Park. Mm -hmm. And they're going to take skin cells from the endangered Asian elephant. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're going to match those with some of the DNA that they found in the permafrost. You know, through the years, the tusks and other skeletons you can see there of the mammoth. And they're going to combine these two. And if all goes according to their plan, mm -hmm. these geneticists, they're saying the first set of calves could arrive in about six years. And they have a three-step goal to this whole process. The first is to create a cold-resistant elephant that looks like a mammoth. Okay, that's their first goal. Mm -hmm. They want to also preserve the endangered Asian elephant, which they say is going to go extinct, by equipping them with traits that the woolly mammoth have to help them survive, especially up into the Arctic. They want to introduce this hybrid to the Arctic tundra to help restore the degraded habitat of the tundra and combat some of the impact of the climate crisis up there. And get, a lot of the permafrost is melting. And they're saying that these hybrid woolly elephant mammoth thingies could take care of that. Now, this is going to take a long time. If they're successful in this and you know, the gestation period is 22 months, and it would take 30 years for them to grow to maturity How to long? reproduce. 30 years for them to, you know, to grow to maturity. So you're looking at, you may get calves in, you know, six, seven years, but it may take another 30 to, to whether this can be successful wow. or not. Again, Russell, we're running out of time. I'm not, we're not going to debate whether you should or not. That question was asked in Jurassic Park. Okay, and it really was just because you have the technology. Should you go debate that on my Facebook page? <laughs> and I'm done with that. What do you think? I mean, it's 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 almost Hollywoodish, Hollywoodish scientific in in what they're trying to do. Yeah, it's 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 30 years. Um, I'll it, be gone, so it, have fun with this. It would take decades. All right. Yeah, to see if this works. Okay. okay. Interesting though, fascinating, and you explained it well too. Thanks, Thank my you. friend. Thank you.